Hello and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here. Today it is the beginning of June so that means it's time to shop my stash. So I have got lots of goodies here that I'm going to use throughout the month except I did not include things that I'm going to take on my vacation which I am going on. And we'll do a separate video of that where we will be packing my makeup bag. And I'll show you all the stuff that I am packing for that. This, none of this is stuff I'm taking. I don't think. Well, some of it. Okay, anyway, if you are interested in seeing what I picked out for June, then hang tight because we're getting right into it. Okay. First, let's talk about things that are just going to be the same every time and things I just use throughout the month. Every month I use like this Airbrow from Kosas. I use that all the time. Um, primers. I use the same primers. I'm using this e.l.f. Power Grip Primer. I've got this Dr. Brandt Backlight Primer that I'm trying to get through. I have got this new Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Instinct Retouch Primer that I'm trying to get through. I have got this Kali Ray, which I thought I was done with, but I still have some of it left. And this Professional Hydrate Primer that I am still working through. So all those primers I am working through as well as my concealers. So I am using the NYX Bear With Me Concealer Serum. I am using the L'Oreal Infallible 24 Hour Full Wear Full Coverage Concealer. And uh, something new I got from the Ipsy add-ons. Okay, should I put a counter up of how many things I'm going to knock over today? Should I? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I will. Okay, and then something I knew I got from the Ipsy add-ons. It is the Fenty Beauty Bright Fix Eye Brightener. I'm wearing this today, and so far it's looking really nice. We will see how it wears throughout the day. I have mine in the color Seashell O5, I think. That's what it says. So... Yeah, we'll see if that's a product that works out for me. So, another thing I'm always using is the Bella Pierre. It is the makeup base for my eyes. I'm always using the Alamar Plumping Lip Water. Yeah, I'm still working through this. You would think I'd have finished it by now. I'm always using the Keys Soul Care Let Me Glow Illuminating Serum also as a base and also uh, when I'm not using that I'm using this Moira coconut honey facial milk for hydrating and restoring okay and I'm always using the same eyeliners and you know what I've decided to use the same lip liners as well to just try to get through those so I didn't pick out new lip liners this month Okay, let's move along to foundations. Okay, I only picked out three foundations for this amount. I don't have a whole lot of foundations. Well, for a normal person, yes, I have a lot of foundations. But uh, for a YouTuber, I don't have that many foundations. Especially, But for someone who's just a normal beauty enthusiast. Yeah, I kind of do have a lot. I am, I have this Tower 28 Sunny Days Broad Spectrum SPF 30 Tinted Sunscreen. I'm hoping to get through this this month and use the rest of it up. And I would like to buy another one. This is in the color 15 Melrose. And, you know, I'm almost done with it, but I still can't tell if it is a good color for me or not. I might get the next shade down that's a little lighter, but I might stick with this one. I'm not sure. Maybe it's my summer color, I think. 
it is a little yellow, but I don't know. I don't mind. I don't mind it being that way. Now, one one that is not my color, but if I just don't use a lot of it, I can get away with it. It is the NYX Bear With Me Blur Foundation. It is in O2 Fair. It is really light on me, but I notice with these foundations that don't match me, if I just use a little bit of it and it seems to match me just fine I don't I'm not looking for full coverage foundation I just need a light amount so just using this this is medium coverage but this thing I, this is medium coverage and I don't really know what full coverage is but this to me is full coverage so yeah I pulled this one out to play with and then but if I do need something like for that Tower 28 one I did pull out well I usually always have this out I should have shown this at the beginning this is my LA Girl Pro Color Foundation Mixing Pigment starting to get a little low on that and then the third one is the e.l.f. Camo CC Cream Color Correcting Full. This is this is this is full coverage. This is what I'm wearing today. I went real really light with it, and I I don't think I got it up to full coverage. But this over that NYX, I would say that NYX more full coverage than this. And but it says it's a natural finish, which I would agree with that. But it's definitely not full coverage because I can't get it to cover up my acne on my chin. Okay, Broad Spectrum SPF 30. So that is the foundations that I have. Let's move on. We've got concealers. So let's move on to bronzer. Okay, I pulled back out my Rare Beauty. This is the, this is the one in, I wanna say Power Hour. Let me grab my glasses. Because I can read with my glasses on. It's kind of faded though. You know what? I can't read it. <laughs> because it's faded too much. But it is like the lightest one. And this is how much I have left. So yay. I have almost used this product up. I'm going to use it up this month. And throw it in the empties bin. That's what I'm going to do. I love this bronzer. I might actually repurchase it, but I have some I need to go through. Another one I was hoping to finish up last month, but I didn't, is this little Milk Mini makeup. It is, it's just their matte bronzer. I don't know what color it is or anything like that, but it's just something I got as a free gift or maybe I got it in a Macy's beauty box I don't know but also I love my L'Oreal infallible 24 hour fresh wear in the color light that's what I'm wearing today I'm trying not to wear as much bronzer as I usually do unless I am wearing a foundation that's really light on me so yeah Usually I don't have that problem with cream products because you can really blend it in really nice. But with powders, sometimes it's harder to blend it in. The last bronzer I pulled out was the Jaclyn Hill. This is the pressed bronzer. That's all it says. And this is in the color Tan Lines. Now I have to be really careful with this because this one is a little darker than what I... Well, it's a little bit oranger. A little, a little oranger? A little more orange that one I'm used to. So I have to be a little careful with that. Look at that mirror in there. That is a really nice mirror. So those are the bronzers. Let I skipped over the powders. Let's go over the powders next. Okay, I only picked out three powders this time. And the first one is my Hourglass Ethereal. This ambient light ambient glow ethereal light powder and I'm really trying to go through this it's a really nice powder um but I've had it forever I'm really trying to get through my powders but I stopped using so much of it I didn't use this powder today 
but this is a really nice powder but I don't think I would repurchase it because there's so many nice powders out there this one you know they say oh it's a good finishing powder it's good blah 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 but I don't know I just think there's so many other nice powders out there the other powder I have is this really white translucent powder called the by Terry from by Terry it's it's colorless that's what it says and it's the hydra care setting powder i'm gonna see i put this through a use it or lose it and we're gonna see if it works it still works okay especially i'll try it with that tower 28 foundation and see how it goes but we will just have to see with it the one i'm wearing today and that i really like is the nyx hd finishing powder and i have hit pan on it and i'm hoping to maybe finish it up this month so those are the powders that i'm using let's move on to blushes okay i picked out a lot of blushes now let me try to speed through this okay i picked out this which i've had for a long time it is my bh cosmetics vanilla cream truffle this is a quad of kind of cool toned blushes i'm wearing it today i think i'm wearing this one here do they have names no they don't even have names on them but these were real popular at one time and i really wanted to bring them out and start using them again because they are really really pretty yeah that one right there that's the one i used today and yeah maybe i'll take this on vacation i don't know okay i have from ocalon i got this in one of my subscription boxes it is the plush palette i brought this out and it is a three color makeup blush yeah these are some lighter colors except for this one in the middle but i did really like these colors quite a bit so i brought this one out as well and three cream br blushes because i love cream blushes one is from persona cosmetics this is the color teddy it's more of a bronzy colored blush this one from nars which no from nude sticks it is called what is your name shade Rosie Posey, that's the name, and that's what it looks like. It's a really nice one. And then one, another nude sticks one. Wait, yeah, another nude sticks one that I got called Sun Kissed. This was supposed to be a bronzer, but it's a little too red to be a bronzer. So, yeah, look at that. I don't know you might think it's a bronzer but I'm using it as a blush so those are the blushes that I brought out let's move to highlighters because I have a lot of those oh wait I have one more blush it is the Moira blush and it is the signature ombre blusher in 01 sweet peach it is a beautiful absolutely beautiful peach blush oh my gosh when i wear it i will absolutely point it out to you okay now let's move to highlight okay i didn't mention it but there are some highlighters and blush palettes that i keep over here at all times one's the pat mcgrath blush and highlighter palette one is the moira blush palette and one is that jeffree star ice crusher skin frost pro palette I'm not going to show them because I've shown them lots of times before. But here are the highlighters I picked out. One is the Arcelli Tequila Highlighter. And it is a nice gold. No. Well. Bronze kind of highlight. It's a real nice highlighter. I brought that one out. And I also always have this one out. It is the Diamond Dust. I'm afraid to put it away because it keeps falling out of the pan. It is a really nice moldy chrome highlighter. I brought out this really sparkly Moira Sun Glow Face and Body Highlighter. Hmm. Maybe I should take that on vacation as well. I don't know. And then I have two other palettes. One... I'm definitely taking this on vacation, is the Moira Alluring Glow Palette. It has all of these shades of highlighters in it. And then I brought out the Heavenly Hues one from Trend, Trend Beauty. Yeah, 
I got this in a subscription box and these are really nice, especially this one here and this one here is really nice and this one here is really nice too. Oh my gosh, the one I'm wearing today, I love this color. It's called, it's from the Allure and Glow palette. It's this one called Flirt. I love this one on my nose right here. Ugh. So that's what I'm wearing today. The blush, oh, I already told you what blush I'm wearing today. Okay, let's move on to mascaras, then lips, and then we'll get to palettes. Okay, okay, I picked out quite a few mascaras. The first one I picked out was this Bobbi Brown Mini that I want to use. This was what I'm wearing today, which is the Bad Gal Bang from Benefit. Really love this one, except... I just don't think I would ever buy the full, the big one at full price. There's just so many good drugstore mascaras out there. Especially the one I picked up, which was the Revlon So Fierce. That one definitely, I think, is a good dupe for that, this one. Okay, I have my Rasha B Cosmetics Purple purple mascara for my pink and purple looks so I brought that one out I got out my Moira mascara I can't remember if I like that one or not I've got my milk kush mascara which I also like a lot I think I got that one on sale I kept the Kosas one out which I had out last month and I have another one of my favorites, which is the Anastasia Beverly Hills, the Lash Brag. So those are all the mascaras I got. So let's talk lip products because there's a, a lot of those. Okay. Okay. First of all, I picked out my NYX. This is Milky Gloss. This is the Cherry Skimmed one. I've had this one for quite a while. But um, yeah, I really like that one a lot. I kept out this Maybelline one, the Superstay Vinyl Ink. And I just kept this one out to keep trying it. So we've got that one there. I've got this, what is it? Item Beauty Lip Gloss right here. It it is very pigmented. I don't think it shows up that dark on your lips, though. Then I have this from Kevin and Coco. It is a it is a liquid lip. It is very dark. It's like the darkest one. It's number six. It came in a set of one to six, and this is like a dark brown. So I brought that one out. I have my... ColourPop Luxe Gloss in the color uh, Eclectic. So that's what that one looks like. Maybe mainly just a gloss to put over the liquid lipsticks. That's also why I kept out this Jeffree Star lip gloss, this sh Shimmy Shiny lip gloss as well. I kept that out. I got another gloss from Jeffree Star. I got this one which I can't read the name of. I'm not going to get my glasses out again, but I really like this one quite a bit. In fact, I've used it quite a bit. Mm. I kept out the Just a Tent in Z-Boys. No? Yeah, it's on this side, not this side, because I really enjoyed this a lot, so I kept it out. I got a Tarte Maracuja juicy lip in the shade what is that orchid I brought this one out to use I brought another one out this one's in rose this is one of the newer ones it's not as juicy <laughs> as they say it's a juicy lip this one is I wouldn't say it says juicy lipstick but it's not as it's an it's not as emollient as the other ones. And then I kept out this Belle Pierre Super Gloss in the color Everyday because I really thought it was a cool one. So also I kept out this Rare Beauty Nearly Natural. I think that's what it, I can't read it. I got out this Fenty Glow Gloss Balm. This one I'm wearing today. Fenty Glow Cream. 
Yeah, it's the Fenty Glow. I also, I told you I got out a lot of lip products. I got out this Play by X Cobra Kai lipstick. I don't know what I'm going to wear this with, but I thought I'd bring it out just for fun. I got out another Fenty Cream Gloss Balm. I think this is in Cut Honey Waffles. I'm not 100% sure. Got out both of my Moira lip glosses. One is in Bubble Pink and the other one is in Let's Cuddle. So I brought both of those out. Got out a Fresh Kiss from ColourPop in the color Sidecar. It looks this color, but it's not. It's it, it'll fool you. It's not it's not that color. Then I got out a Manica Dar in the color Lucky. It is kind of a lip gloss, a, a opaque lip gloss. I kept out the Cherry Blossom lipstick from Moira. This one is a really nice pink color. And the last lipstick I brought out was a NYX Butter Gloss in the color Cranberry. Really, really love this color. Okay. We have got through all of those products. Let's finally talk about some palettes. Okay. Be right back. Okay. Let's talk about the palette. I didn't pull this palette. Well, my palette roulette will pull this palette. But it is the Mimosa palette. I used it yesterday, which was June the 1st, so it counted. So this is what that palette looks like. I'll keep it out in case I want to play with it again. So I am going to count that as a palette that I use this month. Okay, I, two of the palettes that I've actually pulled so far, I pulled this Laura Geller little quad here. It looks, it looks like this, there's a little sponge applicator there. I've used this once and I really like the look that I got from it. So I thought I would pull that one. I pulled this one from Sandbar called Mirage. I don't think I've ever used it before. I think I got it in an Ipsy or an Ipsy Plus or something like that, but I've never used it. I thought, you know, I'll give it a chance. We'll see what happens. This one I'm going to use today. Yeah, I'm going to do a second makeup look today and with in a live with Christine with live with Christine we're going live at 2 p.m. central check us out we'll be on Christine's channel and I am going to use this Nomad palette it is the Royal Europe palette and yeah we are going to serve up some awesome looks she is going to be using the Okavana so I think that's the name of it Okavana Safari palette, the newest one they have. I just got this palette. It is the troublemaker when they were ha when ColourPop was having their 30% off sale. And yeah, I can't wait to play with this one. That's what that one looks like. Uh, and one of my only one of the few well, maybe this is the only palette I have for oh no, I have the Hell palette. The Hell palette with Angel Angelica, but this is from Onzai. It is the Alva eyeshadow palette, and it looks like this. It looks like a nice springy summer palette, so that's why I pulled it out. Looking forward to playing with that. You know, I had my Lethal Cosmetics palettes out last month, so I thought I would pull out probably my favorite purple palette, which is the, what's it called? <laughs> I have trouble recalling the name of this one. It is the Nightflower palette. That's what it is. Because it's not on the... <laughs> Lisa Cosmetic does not put the name of their palettes on their palettes. So that's why I have trouble remembering the names of them. I have so many palettes. How am I supposed to remember the names of all of them? They need to put them on the palette. Okay. So anyway, I absolutely love this palette and I just want to play with it some more and then one I haven't pulled out in a long time is the Hip Dot Zion palette. I got this in a boxy charm a couple of years ago and again it just looks like a nice summertime palette. I think I pulled this out and said it was a good 
fall time palette too but i think you can make good summertime looks with this as well so looking forward to playing with that one i didn't play a natasha denona palette out last time except for a quint and now i'm pulling out a midi palette this is the sunrise palette and yeah we've got lots of pretty colors to play with in there so we've got that i've got a zoeva palette which I think I got from BoxyCharm Drop Shop. It is the Cocoa Blend Palette. A nice neutral palette for this month. And yeah, very, very pretty palette we've got there. Then I've got a Gourmand Girls where they collaborated with Saints Angel Sinners Cosmetics. This is the only thing I have from Saints Angel Sinners. And it's called the Together Palette. This is a nice spring palette, but I think it can, I think with the right look, it can transfer over into a summertime look, depending upon how you work with it. So I am willing to give that a go. Maybe make an Instagram look with this. I have another palette in here that I want to make an Instagram look with. But maybe I'll change my mind and use this one instead. So we'll see. I know a palette that I want to play with to see if I'm going to keep it is the ColourPop Cabana Club. I, I don't know if I want to keep this palette or not. So I need to try and use it and see if I want to keep it. So if that's a use it or lose it palette. And then I pulled this one out to see if I wanted to use it as an Instagram look. But I think I can make a wearable look with this one, I think. So we're, I'm going to challenge myself to do that. Or I might just do another Instagram look. We shall see. This is from Ace Beauté. It is the Nostalgia Palette. And then I have my Cara or Cara Palette. It is the Planetary Divine Palette. I always do that. It looks like this. This makes very nice, soft, wearable looks if you want some soft color. And it has a lot of nice shades in it. It's a very beautiful palette. I am looking forward to playing with that one. So I can't wait to use that one. And then finally, the palette that I'm using today, it is another new palette. It well, it's not new to the market, but it's new to me, it is the Smoke and Roses palette by ColourPop. It is what I have on my eyes today. It is a very beautiful palette, but I will tell you one thing, and I'll probably men just mention this in my end of month roundup. It is very, very similar to the Lunar Beauty Nude Prism palette, and but it has a lot more colors in it. But the look I did today reminds me so much of the look I did with Manny's palette. So, I don't know. I think if you have the Lunar Beauty palette, you don't need this palette. Or if you have this palette, you don't need the Lunar Beauty palette. So, I don't know. I'll just see if I can make up a look that I can't get from the Lunar Beauty palette. Maybe I can do a... Maybe I can do a um, video talking about the two palettes. Maybe that would be, maybe that would be something I could do. Okay, so that is the Shop My Stash for the month of June. Sorry that it got so long. Okay, let me know what you think. What did, what palettes did you pick out? For this month? If you do a Shop My Stash, what kind of makeup did you pick out? Let me know everything. What did you think of the stuff I picked out? Also, I picked out a couple of setting sprays, which is the Tarte setting spray and the Il, Il Masca Hydra setting spray. And oh, one more highlight. I picked out this cream highlight from ColourPop called the Light Sticks in the shade Sky Watcher. Not Skywalker, Sky Watcher. And yeah, that is everything. Please 
give this video a thumbs up if you liked it share this video with your friends or leave me a comment down below anything you can to engage with this video would really help push this out to other viewers like yourself tell others about my channel <laughs> that would really help as well but if you don't want to do any of that no pressure at all just you watching the video up until this point really really helps me out a lot and so thank you so much for watching if you are new here thank you for watching as well please consider subscribing hitting that notification bell setting it to all so that you're notified every time that i upload a new video so if i hope if <laughs> If you are having a fantastic, wonderful day, then I'm so, so happy for you. And I hope it continues into the weekend. If you're having an especially hard time, know that I'm thinking about you and sending you out all of those good vibes. Just remember to stay strong, stay healthy, and stay safe out there. And I will see you in another video soon. Don't forget that I'm having a live today at 2 o'clock Central Time over on Life with Christine's channel. And, okay, just stay well until then. Goodbye. Okay,